Okay, so, um, yeah, this is uh, painful right here. A lot of uh, chaos corruption that I now have to deal with. Thankfully, though, it's not doing too much damage, but if I stay out here long enough, I will die. So, uh, gotta, gotta mosey on down there, take Kragoth Keep, wait for about three times for my army to replenish there, and probably suffer some fucking death. But hey, oh, that's what makes this game fun. Let's end the turn. At least I'll have a level 4 Nagarond, and that will make me some money. In fact, it's actually pretty powerful. It gives me a flat 250 uh, gold uh, coin uh, increase, but it also gives me around a 25% income increase from all income-based buildings within the region. That's pretty big. That's pretty big, yeah. And I think uh, that's quantified even more on the level 5 building. So, you know, I could have some stuff going on here, I think. That is, hopefully, before I go bankrupt. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you go bankrupt in this game. I've never actually been this close before. Just attrition for the dwarves, I think. Uh, okay. And well, in the Dark Elves, the loyalty is everything. Like, if I have like another army, I have to worry about the loyalty of a lord. I don't know if you have to worry about that. Actually, no, you don't have to worry about that. That's only Dark Elves and uh, the Vampire Counts. Yeah. And the Skaven. So, like, if their loyalty hits zero, they will actually rebel, take the army with them, and make their own faction. Yeah, I don't have to deal with that, because, yeah, you know, dwarves are loyal. Yeah, exactly, and I'm playing, like, a fucking evil, evil elf faction, so... King of the so, yeah, like, I could have, like, a death stack with, like, six Blackout and Nagarond, fucking three bull throwers, but if the loyalty goes to zero, that's all gone, and I have to go kill it. Yeah. See that I think the border princes are actually being destroyed by the the pirates of Sartosa, Ooh. and that is something I'm gonna have to deal with because the pirates of Sartosa hate me. I'm not at war with them yet, but they they fucking hate me, so I'm gonna have to actually deal with them at some point. Yeah, sounds like you might. Oh man, I'm so fucking worried for the end times as well because I still only have one standing army. Yeah. Like, the second Archaeon shows up, I think it's fucking curtains for me if I don't uh, get the economy back on track. Well, he shouldn't be on your side of the map, surely. He can get there, though, if he fucking blitzes through Old World. Right, I'm being besieged again. Okay, this prickling is hitting me for 118 uh, coin in a raid. I might have to fucking... Ah, uh, you know what? I will hit him. I definitely will hit him. <laughs> but not until I take Kragoth T because... Yeah, I've taken a lot of losses here. Right, I will get... Or should I hit him? They have fuck all armor. He has fuck all armor. He has fuck all armor. He also has fuck all armor. The only good unit they have is uh, a Saigor, which I can fuck with uh, easy um, select targeting, and the yeah. Minotaurs, which I can fuck with easy select targeting. I might, I might hit them on the way, you know. I, I'm not sure what fucking building is classified as a mine. Because like they're, um, they're beastmen. They're the Ripperhorn tribe. I think that's their main army. They have, they do have a missile. They have a range of 150. My guys have a range of. They outrange me? What the fuck? <laughs> that makes no sense. Well, that's fine. They can outrange archers. They can't fucking outrange Reaper bow throwers. They have a range of 350, so fuck them. Yeah. I honestly don't know what kind of, um... I'm just gonna go for militia training. Yeah. Wasn't sure what, uh... Okay, the orcs are not doing anything... up there. Can they seriously fuck off or what? Oh my god, I... I think they're spreading chaos as well. I think that's why the chaos is so high, is because of them. That's a possibility. Yeah. I forgot that um, Chaos Warriors did that. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, like, I got Blackguard and Aggrant, I got four fucking heroes, I have a Sorceress of Fire, for God's sake. I'm gonna hit them. Um... Yeah, no, fuck, am I gonna hit them. So, less money, more growth. I'm not sure what I should be doing here. Just looking through all my, um... Whatchamacallits. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Do I want to... Holy shit, I could get... I'll do that and I'll have a look at what that does for my uh, money. Okay. I think, yeah. Oh, my engineer is almost back. Oop. He kind of went on a little jaunt over to another settlement to do some espionage. Which settlement, though? Uh, it was actually a friendly dwarven one. <laughs> oh. That's fair enough. Yep. Yep, declare war. Right. So, the Ripperhorn tribe are... They're war with the exiles in the heck. That's an anti. Um, fairly even... I'm already at war with Agol and Mung. This is going to be my third war, but the Agol and Mung have literally not, like, they've not made a peep against uh, me. Actually, I wonder could I, like, negotiate peace with them because, like, they've not done shit. Nah, they won't take it. That's fine. Yeah, I'm really in the fucking predicament around here. Honestly, man, I think I could uh, auto-resolve this. Like, the band's power is pretty up there. Okay. But I... It really all depends on the map. Because, like, knowing my fucking luck, the band's power will, uh... Like, I could auto-resolve it, but, like, it would be annoying to take, like, a Reaper Bolt Thrower for, like, no reason, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna have chance it. Because you can see, like, how in favor this is. I'm gonna roll the dice. Because I don't wanna have to fucking fight them right now. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, they almost did a number on your Dread Spears, though. Yeah, thankfully that one lived. I think that one will die, though, the second, uh, due to um, attrition now, but. At least I got rid of these pricks who were raiding me. Yeah. And I get 690 more saves, which will help me with the um, economy, and it will replenish a shit ton more of my units, so that pretty much cancelled that out. Yeah. I really do want to... I need to sort out... Like I said, I need to sort out my province, but at some point mm. I do actually want to move out with my dwarf army. Yeah, yeah. Um, the issue is now... That at turn 40, the garrison at 8 peaks is going to be proper, like, legit. Hmm. So I'm not going to be able to go... I can't attack it directly. And at the same time, yeah. I'm not going to be able to siege it. Because I'm going to be in the middle of greenskin territory. No, of course. So, yeah. It's going to be a toughie, like... Got five grand from that. That I am very happy with. <laughs> I do um, get more income from the Dark Elf uh, port. Okay, I think we're actually getting some um, development here. From uh, the Black Flood and the Chaos Corruption is going down. Yes, this is very good. I want to get at least uh, an artisan house in here too. By the I, I don't understand the AI sometimes. What's up? Well, the Pirates of Sartosa are like pushing in towards the capital of the Border Princes, and the Border Princes mm. have decided to get their army from their capital and march it across my lands. In the opposite direction. And right. it's like, hmm. shouldn't you be sat in your capital, you know, protecting your citizens from a bunch of fucking undead pirates? Yeah, you think they would <laughs> want to do that. So. Um, right. Uh, I'm gonna take another hit from attrition next turn, but nobody will die, and I'm fairly sure the Ripperhorn tribe have essentially nothing left. Well, they have, like, one guy left, but... 
Can horror tribes like recru- uh, recruit anywhere? They have but to. I think they, they need to be in a stance. Don't yeah, they? they have to adopt a stance. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I got rid of that raiding though. That guy was raiding me for about like 150 gold. Like I had to get rid of him. I think yeah, Malekith's back in like one more turn. Uh, yeah, it'd be around there. Oh. Hello. Okay. The exiles of Nehek have nothing left. They're asking you for peace, I'm saying. I'm not at war with them, they're asking uh. me for an NAP. They uh. demand I pay them 100 for the privilege. <laughs> Counter offer. Give her to that. <laughs> yeah. Let me think about that. <laughs> because, like, if you, if you were to see the band's power right now, they got maybe about 2% of it. Oh, right. Okay. How do you pay me? Low? Because <laughs> I have fucking no money left, no doubt. Propose. They reject it. That's fine. They will die anyway. That's yeah, kind of interesting. The Tomb Kings are meant to be a very OP faction, even in vanilla. Mm. Like, have you ever played Tomb Kings at all? Uh, I've played against them. But have you played as them, though? No, I know they've got some... they like... got some bullshit units, man, yeah. let me tell you. I actually played a fucking Camry campaign to completion. Some of their later units, like the Sphinxes, man, holy fuck. Some of their archers are insane as well. I I really like the lizard man. I've never played them either. They're my second favorite faction, like even mm. before the games. So like I've actually got like lizard men yeah, models. Like them as a concept are just fantastic. I think. Yeah, they're yeah, anth anthropomorphic brilliant. dinosaurs. Why not? Like, yeah, they're just they're just their their lore is just good. Like this, the um, what's it called? The Temple Guard, they literally stand still on like the battlements in like doorways and uh, let dust settle settle on them. Right. That's like how like stoic they are, like defending like their task of like defending yeah. an area. And in one of the books, some Skaven found what they thought were oh, a bunch like of food, though, you know, like do they, they eat, drink, they, or they do eat and drink, but they they are for the most part they can stand still for, for like days. Holy crap. Because uh, they go into like a like a kind of like semi sleep, I think it is. But yeah. Um, yeah, in one of the books, the Skaven find one of the settlements and they look at the battlements and they think it's just a ruin and they think all the all the um, the uh, temple guard and all the li uh, lizardmen on the battlements are just statues because that much dust is settled on them, <laughs> right? And then they like pop out. Well, this is the thing, right? They they don't react until they they need Ooh. to. So the Skaven attacked the like, well, attacked the walls. The Skaven started climbing out of the walls, and the Lizardmen did nothing about it until they mm. got to the top, and then they all animated. <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah. Man. So literally, okay. they climb on top of the walls and be like, "Oh yeah, we're in now." And then a bunch of them got decapitated or like brained by fucking maces. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit! That's terrifying. Um. Right, so I've got the Border Princes. They're hanging around my Severn Settlement. They keep on doing this. They keep on sending their army up towards my Severn Settlement and just encamping there. Mm. Um, I've got that... Because why not? Yeah, basically. I've got um, that Orc army coming down towards me. And it's got nine units in it. So it's nowhere near the same as before. But I've just got a grudge to that, say, basically win three battles against the Undead. Which might actually force my hand in attacking the pirates of Sartosa after I've dealt with like my province because they're only just they're just below me, mm. and if I do things quickly, I'll be able to go down there and come up before anything happens to my um, settlements. Pardon me. Um, Karak Izor is under attack by the Greenskins. Sounds like they'll be a very interesting uh, faction to fight. Yeah, they have got some ridiculous... I, I can't see them in this unit, but basically some of the units are known to be stupid. Ah. And, um... Yeah. Just... Well, I see here, like, the one, the one missile unit, once their ammunition goes below 80, it disables, 
but until then it's plus 50 percent armor piercing plus 50 armor piercing explosion plus 50 explosion plus 50 missile damage yeah yeah so like they uh, yeah just from the videos i've watched of uh youtubers playing like online battles a lot of people play the pirates just because they've got derpy units that are not balanced <laughs> <laughs> um where's my hero my hero's over here he is actually boosting income so i'm not going to i'm not going to embed him in my army i am however oh you can't assassinate people now you should be able to I can't. Or wound them. I can only block can army. Oh. Blocking army is pretty good. I thought I, I, maybe dwarves can't assassinate. Oh. No, no, their hero has to have the uh, perk to do it. Yeah, and he doesn't. He needs to unlock that. Um. I think I will just tell him to block an army anyway, just because I want him to get experience. Oh, okay. Uh, so he'll go and do that. Right, I it's... got a, I got Malekith coming back in one more turn. Ah, there you go. I knew it was close. Yeah, I did need the, I did need it. So I'm gonna get that next turn, I think. Unless there's, no, I got a boost income. Because at the moment my engineer is not really in my army. He's more of a, mm. um. Ah, yeah, okay. I knew they um, uh, these characters increased upkeep. It's one of the th skills, like, skills they automatically got at the beginning of the game. Ah. And it is, like, each one gives me a plus five increase, uh, upkeep increase to all units. That's that's why, yeah, I knew there was an additional thing on top of, um, like, the base one. So yeah, he was successful, uh, upgraded him so he can now wound, and if, there goes my dog here, if Malagor hangs around, I'll try and assassinate him. The orcs are on their way down. I am going to go into normal stance, and what do I need to go into ambush? 25%. Um, I'm gonna go to here. I'm gone. Yeah, that should be enough. I'm gonna go to there and adopt ambush just in case someone pops along. Right. Uh, I'm gonna enter and I'm gonna quickly go and get my dog because he's barking like mad. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah. Go ahead. Well, it is now time, I think, to take Kragoth deep. And would you look at that, Malekith is back, ready for duty. Oh, you have no idea how happy I am. Question is, how do I get him back in? <laughs> so the embedded hero has been removed from the army. Oh, I need to figure out how way to get Malekith back in, I think. He's ready to be recruited. I think I just recruit him and swap him out. Should be easy enough. I need to get him back up here, though. That's fine. Hopefully this will not um, take up too much away from my men. It costs 1500 to do that. Yeah, it took pretty much every everything away. But the income's pretty solid now, I'll tell you that much. Mostly because I'm sat inside here, but still. And the uh, Chaos Corruption is dropping like flies. Back. Just to crag off there deep. And Malekith's back. So, uh, huzzah. And I'm back to making a better grand again. Oh, grab some of that chocolate I've got in the fridge. Have you ever had 70% oh, dark chocolate with raspberries? I don't like dark chocolate, man. Oh, then that's a no. <laughs> yeah. No, man, milk chocolate or white. But dark chocolate, man, it's far too strong. It kind of, uh... I don't want to say it gets me kind of like gagging, but I'm just not a huge fan of it. I've I've grown to like it. I start. Yeah, I, I, wish st I, I wish I could say the same. Yeah, because I started off on like forty percent strength, mm. and I've now gone up to seventy percent. Anything above seventy does is too bitter. But yeah, 
I think the fruit helps because every time I, I do buy dark chocolate, it's usually got like orange infused into it or like berries. Yeah, I would try it with fruit. I would try it like if it had like fruit and fruit infused with like pure dark chocolate. Now, have you ever eaten like chocolate that's like made for baking? Just like on the bar and just had it like eat, eaten it, you know? No. At all? No. no. I did once. It was fucking awful. Oh, right. I thought this was going to be like a pleasant surprise. No, so, no, <laughs> no. No, it's meant for baking for a reason. It just. Like, it crumbles in your mouth. Like, it just turns to dust, you know? Oh, uh, right. It's like you bite down on it and it's like. Psh! No, mm. gone. Yeah. Um. Definitely gonna upgrade that dark hold. I think it's gonna be 1500, but I'm making better grand turn so I can afford that. Change it off here? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, guys, finally, it looks like this province will be mine. Only have one more province to take. And it's developing rather well, and the uh, Ripper Horn tribe is in the wind with only one lord left and no ability to recruit. Or the lack of incentive to recruit. Overall, I'm pretty happy. Hmm. Have a good one, guys. See you later.